Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. This video is just a quick update on the newly announced and soon to be released CMU 1.9.0. The focus of this update will mainly be a revision of the current input system which includes X input support, more accurate emulation of the pad score and vpad libraries, a complete rework of the input GUI, a new controller profile system and more minor improvements to be added in the future. Let's talk a little about these updates. Firstly, X input support allows you to use your favorite X input controllers without use of any outside mapping software. This refers to programs like DS4 Windows and Input Mapper. I myself have suffered from this issue and have had to remap my controller every time I install CMU. Additionally, X input controllers can finally now use rumble features, which so far has only been supported for direct input controllers. The new controller profile system is designed to be easy to use and allow for greater flexibility in regards to future extensions. For example, external applications are able to edit the current input profile and can switch active controllers. The CMU dev team are also looking at a way to automatically load different controller profiles for specific games that you load. The improved emulation of the Wii U input libraries, the pad score and vpad, will fix some input bugs and add support for new input features in games. They have also listed to us some new features and features in games that now work. These are that Super Smash Bros. can finally be played now with up to 8 players. The updated version of Super Smash Bros. will boot without having to have the controllers deactivated at the start. The co-op modes of Shovel Knight and Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze are finally working as expected. They also tell us that they are trying to fix more input issues before this update is released. For example, Terraria and Zombie U are currently not accepting any inputs at the title screen, making it impossible to progress further into the game. Also, in good news for people who do not possess a gyroscopic controller, they are looking into improving gyro control via mouse input. Although Wiimote and native motion controls are not included yet, these are now announced to be added in a future update. Cheers for checking out the video guys, remember to like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel for all future videos from me.